25 silver coins. That was John's inheritance after the death of his dear old father. With no reason to stay home any longer, John decided it was time to venture out and see something of the world. Is that you? You'll see this here princess, son. Do I ever? She's beautiful. Well, son, you play your cards right, and you've a fair chance of becoming her husband. <laughs> well, now I know I'm dreaming. That's my old dad. Always kidding. Oh. <laughs> Give me that. Huh? Oi. Huh? Huh? Hey. <gasps> Leave him alone, you two. What's it to you, boy? The deceased here owed us money, so. Whatever we find on him is ours. See? So you mind your own business, boy, or else. <sighs> Look, 25 pieces of silver. It's all I've got. Now, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, boy. Just leave this poor soul alone, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, my friend, whoever you are. And so, John went on his way, penniless now, but much richer than before, for knowing he had done the right thing. Huh? Well, hello there, John. How do you know my name? Ah, call it a lucky guess. So, huh? where are we headed to, John? If you don't mind me tagging along, that is. Well, I'm really not sure you'd want a travelling companion as poor as me, friend. Hmm. Poor, you say? And hungry, too, I'll warrant. Huh? Listen. You want to go my way? You be my guest. Mm. So what should I call you, friend? Huh? Hmm. I'm sure I used to have a name. But do you know, I'll be blowed if I can recall what it is. Dessert? Oh, yum. When John was little, his parents had always told him not to talk to strangers. But John was all grown up now and alone in the world. <laughs> and there was something about this most peculiar gentleman which made him feel he could trust him. 
A beautiful princess. And you're sure it was your father? Well, if it was in a dream, it must be true. Trust me, I know these things. Oh. Oh. oh! What is it? What's wrong? My leg. It's broken. Quick, John, my bag. What have you got in there? Thanks, John. Now, let's see what we can do for you, eh? You can walk on that now. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Amazing! I haven't felt so sprightly in years. Oh, I don't have much, but you must let me repay you somehow. It's our way round these parts. Hmm. Well, I never. A funnel. Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> that was kind of your friend, pretending to value that old funnel so much. Who says I was pretending? for him too? I'd gladly give you all my takings in return. And tomorrow's too. Hang on to your money, Puppet Master. But I do like the look of that sword of yours. A beautiful swan. Isn't that sad? I find everything as beautiful and as sad as everything else these days. What are you doing? Take this poor swan's wings, for instance. You never know when swan wings might come in handy. Huh? 
Come on. <sighs> Let's go find you somewhere warm, clean and dry for the night, eh? For the last time, you can't stay here. You're too weird. And your friend there looks like something the cat dragged in and then flew out again. Uh-oh. Here comes the princess. <gasps> That's her. The princess in my dream. I'm in love. This is going to be harder work than I thought. Hmm, look, innkeeper. Maybe I didn't make myself clear enough earlier. Ah, that will do nicely, sir. So, innkeeper, why does this princess of yours ride around the city like that? Why, sir? So all the young men will see her and fall in love with her. <sighs> Works for me. Oh, she's lovely enough to look at, all right. And her father is as good a king as we would ever wish for. But her heart is empty and cold. If you ask me, sir, she's bewitched. Really? And what makes you think such a thing? She lures all the young men to their deaths with her beauty. But she's so lovely. I can't believe she'd ever do anything bad. That's how she gets away with it. She let any Tom, Dick or Harry propose to her. All they have to do to win her hand is guess three times what she's thinking. And if they guess wrong? She's the one, so don't try and talk me out of it. <sighs> Wouldn't dream of it, John. In fact, it's my duty as your friend to try and help you. I was wrong. You're not just weird, you're crazy too! The very next morning, John made his way to the royal palace. <sighs> Some peasant by the name of John, sir. Oh, don't mind him. He looks down his nose at me, too. And I'm the king. <laughs> so, John, pleased to meet you. Ah, I get so few visitors these days. What with my daughter being so strange and all. <clears throat> uh, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Your Majesty. I'm here to ask for the hand of the princess in marriage. Oh, no. Not another one. And you seem like such a nice young man, too. <laughs> Don't do this, John. Please. My daughter isn't like other princesses. But she can't be that bad, surely. Oh. You see? Oh, don't worry so, Your Majesty. It'll all work out fine in the end. My dad told me so in a dream. Nobody has ever guessed a single correct answer. Father? Oh, darling! Ah, oh, I didn't see you there. I was just telling John here. So I heard. You know the rules. I have to guess what you're thinking of. Three times, right? Oh. We'll only be doing this the once, I assure you. Tomorrow, then. Ah, oh, she's so lovely. Oh, you should have seen her today. But how am I going to guess what she's thinking of without even so much as a hint? Still, I'm sure it'll all work out for the best. I'll drink to that, John. And here's to you, my travelling companion. A fellow couldn't ask for a more trustworthy, faithful, loyal friend. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, John, but it's for your own good. Oh, I 
told you these swan wings had come in handy. So, my dear, another young fool thinks to win your hand, eh? Let the answer to your riddle be something in plain sight. Something so simple, he'll never guess it. Morning, John. Sleep well. Never better. But you know what? I don't even remember going to bed. Ah, uh, uh, you don't say. Uh, now listen, last night I had the strangest dream, and it was all about your princess. Really? See, now you're dreaming about her too. Isn't she great? Ah, uh, she really is one in a million, John. Anyway, I dreamt the answer to her special riddle. And it's in here. You did? That's marvellous! You see, I told you everything would work itself out without either of us having to lift a finger. <sighs> John, please! It's still not too late to change your mind, you know. Oh, don't worry, Your Highness. It's all under control. Oh. Let's get this over with, shall we? Too late. Bye-bye, John. So, out with it. What am I thinking of? Um, I... Speak. Uh, well... Come along now, I haven't got all day. Well, all I know is the answer might be in here. Did that? Uh, neither do I. Uh, call it a lucky guess. Tomorrow it will take more than a lucky guess to save you. Well, John, one riddle solved, two to go. But what if neither of us dreams of the answer tonight? I would hate to be parted from you, friend. Now, now, John, something will turn up, remember? To tomorrow. Very next morning. <gasps> that final night, John's travelling companion was even more determined than before to protect his friend. So, the young fool got it right again. How is he doing this? What's his secret? Well, if he guesses right this one last time, I'll have to marry him. It's the rules. Then we'll have to come up with something he can't possibly guess. Let me think. Got it. Princess, the answer to the riddle is mine. 
head. He'll never get that. Master. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, can I have a word? Morning came, and with it, the moment of truth. This is it, my beloved friend. Today I marry my princess, or you and I must be parted once and for all. Chin up, John. And remember, don't open this until she asks what she's thinking of. I'm ready, Father. <sighs> John? Ready as I'll ever be, Your Majesty. So, twice you have somehow cheated death. But this time I doubt your luck can hold. Tell me then, what am I thinking of today? I have to be honest, Your Highness. I don't rightly know. <gasps> Say something, John. Anything. Make a guess. Take him away. Ooh. Look in the bag, Your Majesty. The answer you seek may well be within. Open the bag, princess. It couldn't be. It looks like a troll's head, sir, but made of stone. Oh. Well, the card reads, this should be the head of the troll from the Magic Mountain. And as we all know, trolls turn to stone when they're beheaded! <gasps> Princess! She's going to be all right. The troll's spell over her has been broken. <gasps> Father, everybody, can you possibly forgive me for all the bad things I did while I was bewitched? <laughs> of course we can, my dear. Perhaps I can begin to make amends by inviting you all to our wedding. You mean... If you still want to. Hey, where are you going? My work here is done, John. It's time for me to move on. What? But surely you'll stay for our wedding. I have seen my beloved friend find the happiness he deserves, Your Majesty. So my debt to him has been repaid. Debt? What debt? Remember when you gave away all you had to stop those thieves robbing a dead man in his coffin? How did you know about that? Because, John, that man was me. That was you? But how? No, no, wait. You can't leave now. How will I manage without you? Oh, by the looks of things, you'll manage fine, John. Just remember, I'll always be your devoted traveling companion here, John, in your heart. Well, I wasn't expecting that. After a day like today, nothing surprises me anymore. Come on. The wedding festivities lasted a whole month, and the people were overjoyed to see John and their princess so very much in love.